So we have a question from, um, this is June 18. Okay. Now it says uh, the volume of soup in super soup cartons has a normal distribution. So you have to immediately get hold of this, uh, this normal distribution thing here. Okay with mean mu millimeters and milliliters, sorry, and standard deviation nine milliliters. Tests have shown that 10% of cartons contain less than 440 ml of soup, find the value of mu. So guys, we shall start by saying, okay, look, um, this is, we shall say, okay, X is normally distributed with the mean mu and the standard deviation is nine. So I'll be writing it as a nine square, okay? Because we have to mention the, the variance here. And it says 10% uh, of the cartons contain less than 440 ml. So the probability that X is less than 440, that is equal to 0.1, okay? That is how we have used this 10 percent here. So we have to find the value of mu. No problem, it's a simple question. We'll uh, directly go into standardizing this. So we would say, okay, okay uh, the probability that Z is less than 440 minus mu over the standard deviation, that is equal to 0.1. Now, look at this. There is a less than sign, but the probability is less than 0.5. We can't like, we can write it as phi of this, but here the probability is less than 0.5. You will not be able to find the phi inverse of this. If I show you this table again, you must see the so probability. substitute will yeah, we'll we'll be doing that. Obviously you'll have to do that. Okay. So, Rather than substituting, I think you should um, forcefully make it minus. Like I'll be taking a minus common from here. This is mu minus 440 over nine. You see that like, you know, without uh, paying much, we have got this to be minus. So now this would be one minus phi of mu minus 440 over nine. That is equal to 0.1. Okay, so this phi of mu minus four uh, people, they are getting in late and you see this is happening with us. Okay, so this is mu minus uh, four TR. Apsa, you're getting late, yaar. Though you have got admission in uh, Oxford University, but you're still getting late. By the way, many, many congratulations to you for getting into the Oxford. Mm. Thank you, sir. Okay. So this is going to be uh, one minus 0.10 is going to be 0.9 here. So there's mu minus 440 over nine. That is phi inverse of 0.9. Ajab, you know, you, you see, uh, while before you start this question over here, if you draw a vertical line like this here in the middle, that can double your space. Well, I'm going to do that over here now. So let's see what is phi inverse of 0.9. Okay. Um, if you go at the bottom of this table, there is the, the, you have these critical values. You can quickly find the required Z value. So we have the probability 0.9. So it's phi inverse would be 1.282. Can you see this? Can you see this down here? I'll be using this value over here. This is going to be 1.282. Okay. So uh, 1.282. So this uh, mu minus 440, that is... 9 into, it was 1.282, 1.282. So now let's use the calculator here to find this value. This is 440 plus 9 into 1.282. So this mu is going to be into 
4.538. So this mu is correct to three significant figures. This is 451 ml. Okay. So that is what you, you get here. You should give this answer as well. Okay. Now, next it says um, um, a food retailer orders 150 um, of these. Okay. And then he, what does he see? Um, calculate the number of these cartons for which uh, you would expect the volume of soup to be more than 1.8 standard deviations above the mean. Oh, so first of all, we need to find this, the probability of uh, this X to be more than 1.8 above the mean. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, yeah, more than above the mean. So again, I'll have to look at this diagram here, okay? So if it is my mu over here, okay? So it says more than, so this is your, uh, this span is 1.8 standard deviation. So here you have mu plus 1.8 standard deviation. So this is 1.8 standard deviations more than mu, okay? So that would mean this is going to be mu plus 1.8 standard deviations. So we to find that. We'll first find this probability and then we'll multiply that with 150. So we'll get to the answer here, okay? So uh, we define this. So I'll start by standardizing. Now I have the mu with me and I have this standard deviation. So let me find this mu plus 1.8 standard deviations. Mu is 451.538, okay? Plus 1.8 times nine. Let's find that plus uh, nine times 1.8. So that is 467.738. So we have to find the probability that this X is more than 467.738. So let us standardize this guys. This is going to be, this would become uh, probability Z is greater than 467 point. Let me write this as seven minus this 440 and then you have this nine here, okay? I'll be using its exact value by the way. So this minus 440 divided by nine. So we have 3.482. Uh, what was the mean? Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, thank you, Bada. You have been a great help here. Yeah, I just took it from here. In fact, the mu was 451. Thank you very much. I think this was Maria there. G, sir. Yes, Maria Bette. Thank you. Because I was really getting a bigger value and I was confused at what's happening here. You see, you have to be very alert. Since like, you know, this is my last class and I'm very much excited that the weekend is coming up and I want to be through with this class. In other word, words, I want to get rid of this class. So that is why I made a mistake. You know, that is, you know, this happens whenever students are taking their last exam. So they, they really make very silly mistakes there because they, they, they really want to be through with that exam, okay? So this is happening 1.85977. So this is 1.860. Let me write this as. So this is going to be 1 minus phi of 1.860. Can someone please look at the table because my table would be covered with all this information here. Uh, 
more than one like you know mu plus 1.8 times sigma se zyada we have these values so 1 minus 0.9686 so i have this 0.0314 and now i need to this is 0.0314 and now i'll be multiplying this with this number 150 so the answer is going to be 150 times this so this is times 150 so that is going to be 4.71 this is much closer to 5 maybe if, if we have to round it round it up to the exact number so this is the answer actually this many out of 150 they are supposed to have uh, the volume more than this condition here okay so um someone please check the answer and if there is any question please let me know so the answer is confirmed so we can move to the next question in the next segment thank you very much